Hey guys, it's Christy with Christy's Custom Creations. And I was recently tasked with making a, a pretty tumbler for an upcoming event. They didn't really care what it looked like, they just wanted it pretty. So I decided, let's go with a peekaboo snow leopard look. And I wanted to share it with all of you just to show how I made it so that if you wanna make one, you can make one yourself. Okay, so I am starting out with a prepped cup that I have spray painted silver. And I have a tiny bit of epoxy left over from the cups that you see over there to my left spinning. So I don't need much epoxy for this, but I wanna go ahead, I don't have much in my mixing cup, so I wanna go ahead and just heat this cup up a little bit. And it's really gonna help that epoxy smooth out over the cup so that I don't have to use very much. So I'm just going to smooth the epoxy over the cup here, and it is a 20 ounce tumbler. And I just want to make sure it is nice and smooth. I like to run, start at the bottom and work my way up and then wipe the bottom of the cup because I don't want lines or anything like that in my epoxy. So the color that we're going to be using is called Alibi and it's by Mr. Nola's Glitter. And I started to pull my cup off the turner, but then I decided, no, I'm just gonna glitter it while it's on here, so ignore that last part. Um, but I'm just going to sprinkle this beautiful glass-like glitter all over this tumbler. You want really good coverage, and it's gonna stick up like crazy, but we'll take care of that part in just a minute. Just knock off any excess glitter that's on there, put it on there real good, and then I like to take a piece of wax paper and just pat all of that excess glitter down and after I pat it down I like to put a little bit more on there and then pat that down as well and I'm just gonna do that over the entire cup and this glitter here is so pretty it's a silver glitter but it is so shiny and sparkly it actually almost looks like a mirror like I could almost see my reflection in the glitter of this cup And I try my best not to waste any of my precious glitter, so I always put it, sprinkle it into a paper plate and then put it back into the container. After letting my cup completely dry and spin for about six to eight hours, I sprayed it with this Rust-Oleum 2X Clear Gloss Spray Paint and then let that dry before I put on my first coat of epoxy. So for my first coat of epoxy, I just put it on the cup smear it on there and get really good coverage over that chunky glitter and for this cup I did two layers of epoxy over it before I did any sanding so I'm not going to show you where I put the second layer of epoxy on here because it's just a little bit redundant but um, I did put two layers of epoxy on here before sanding so what, now that I've got the two layers on there it's time to sand and I like to use 220 grit sandpaper. I buy it on Amazon and I will link it down in the description box below. I grabbed my craft knife out of my drawer just in case I needed it to help trim around the top, but this glitter actually laid down really well, so I didn't need it to trim around the top at all. I was able to get it knocked down really well just by using my sandpaper here. So my epoxy covered this cup up really, really well. So I just mainly needed to focus around the top edge of the cup and then down around the bottom as well. So I just, you wanna be careful. You don't wanna damage the glitter too much, but you want to knock down any kind of roughness that you have because we are going to be spray painting this cup and you don't want that to show through the spray paint. And as you can see, I'm really paying a lot of attention to the bottom edge here, but I'm being really careful when I sand like I said, not to go too, too deep on it. And then I'm also just giving the main body portion of the tumbler a really good sanding. Uh, it, it really didn't need much just because it, the epoxy covered it so well. So just give it a good sand, knock down any little spots that want to poke up, and then we are going to take it to the sink and give it a bath. I always wash my tumblers with Dawn dish soap just to make sure that it cuts any grease, gets rid of any little dust that's left over from sanding, and just gets it ready to um, put vinyl on it for our peekaboo look and then to be painted.
Once your cup is cleaned up and ready to go, you want to make sure that it is completely dry before you add any vinyl, spray paint, or epoxy to it. So next I took a pattern, a leopard print pattern that I found on Etsy ages ago. I don't think the file's even there anymore. Um, I cut it with my Silhouette Cameo 4 and I didn't have any rhyme or reason as to how I wanted to put this on my cup. I just, I cut a big leopard print pattern and then I just, I figured I'd kind of wing it afterwards as to how I wanted to get these on there. I just kind of wanted to place them and make sure that they look good so I wanted to have a little bit more control rather than just trying to wrap my cup. So put my transfer tape on here and use my little squeegee tool here. I love the squeegee tool because it's got a felt end on it and so it doesn't like scratch my vinyl or scratch my transfer tape or anything like that. So I got that on Amazon. I will also link that down in the description box below. So I decided that the way I wanted to do this, I just wanted to kind of cut some strips in my leopard print design and lay them out on the cup. I want to note that I sped this video, this portion of this video up a lot because if I didn't, we would literally be here all day long. The rest of the video from this point forward is going to be sped up quite a bit because it's just, it was a ridiculously long video otherwise. So didn't want to waste anyone's time and you can pretty much see, get the point of what I'm doing here. So as I made my way around the cup, I just tried to stay with the leopard pattern that I already had. It lined up pretty well and it, it kind of got a little crazy around the bottom of the cup. I just had to kind of tilt it slightly because the bottom of the cup is thinner than the top of the cup is. So it, it wanted to wrap more so around the bottom than the top, which was fine. I just tilted the pattern as I made my way around it. And I'm using my craft knife here because I wanted the leopard spots to extend past the top of the cup so that they they look like they were just you know kind of continuing on as they went up the cup so any part that kind of overlapped over the top I just used my craft knife to trim that portion off It really doesn't matter what color vinyl that you use because you're just going to be spray painting over it. We're basically just using this as a stencil. So you can use whatever color you have. I have a lot of this light blue kind of just sitting around. So from a large order I'd had a while back. So I like to use this light blue for my peekaboos just because I have a lot of it laying around. I also wanted to mention that I have links down in the description box for all the products that I use while I make my tumblers, so be sure to check it out. If you haven't visited our Facebook group yet, you should really check us out. We have a lot of fun on there. We share our projects, we share our creations, and we just share ideas with each other. Our Facebook group is called Tumblr's Epoxy Pins and More, Tutorials and Tips by KCC, and I will have that link down in the description box below as well. It's, it's just a really fun group, a lot of crafters, and we just we love to support each other, so check us out.
Okay, now that we have the leopard spots put on the tumbler here, I'm going to use a flat white spray paint. It is a 2X matte spray paint by Rust-Oleum. And it is my go-to for white spray paint. And as you can see here, you underneath the spray paint, you can see where I have the vinyl at. So once this is completely dry, I'm going to pull the vinyl up. And I probably let it dry for at least an hour. I didn't, I didn't clock it or anything. I'd say one to two hours, just until it's completely dry to the touch. And as you can see, it is 100% dry because I have it on this um, cotton towel and I'm moving it around with no issues. To remove the vinyl, you wanna be sure that you are very careful. You don't want to scratch the paint that is going to remain on the cup. So be sure you stay on the vinyl whenever you get it with your hook or whatever kind of tool that you use. I got this tool here on Amazon. It came in a pack of four different type of tools and I will have that link down in the description box below as well. But just be very careful and don't touch the part of the paint that is going to remain on the cup because it will scratch it and you'll be able to see it. I love making peekaboo tumblers, but I gotta say, I thought I was never going to get all this vinyl pulled on this tumbler. And of course, this would be the one that I decided to do a video on. It was definitely well worth it in the end because this, this tumbler turned out absolutely gorgeous, but I thought it was never gonna end. Now that we finally have all of that vinyl pulled, it is time to epoxy it. And I gotta say, this cup is absolutely stunning under epoxy. And I'm going to take this glitter, it's called Silver Fox. It is a super fine glitter, and I just wanna give that layer of epoxy just a little bit of sparkle. So I'm going to take the tiniest amount of it. You do not need much at all. And I'm gonna put it in my epoxy. I'm gonna mix it in there. So when I put this final coat of epoxy on the cup, it is going to give the epoxy just that little bit of extra sparkle to help bring out the colors and everything on the cup. It's just gonna make it beautiful. For this last coat of epoxy, I used about 15 milliliters of Tumblr Epoxy Epoxy, which is what I used on the entire cup. And I'm just going to spread it over the whole cup, getting really good coverage same process that I always use make sure get the epoxy on the bottom of the cup as well don't forget your bottom so I am I'm just getting really good coverage and once I get the epoxy on the cup really well I'm going to take my finger and I will start at the bottom of the cup and as you can see here I start at the bottom and I just move upwards making sure that the epoxy is really nice and smooth no ripples, anything like that, and then I wipe off kind of any excess on the bottom, just smoothing it out there as well. And then I take my blowtorch and give the cup a really quick torch, just popping any micro bubbles, making sure it's really nice and smooth, and then I leave it alone. I let it spin, and that's it. And look how gorgeous this cup is. You can see the little bit of sparkle from the Silver Fox as well. I really hope to see you in our Facebook group. Tumblers, epoxy pens, and more tutorials and tips by KCC. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit the like and subscribe button to see more tutorials just like it. I hope y'all have a great day. Y'all take care. Bye.